Welcome, right, we have two selections today, just light bets, I'm going to go a pint win on a 6 to 1 shot, and a pint each way on a 16 to 1 shot, I think it's the 122 in Ireland today, uh, I think it's punches town to me, in this horse, I just mark him down as one to follow, maybe in a handicap, so I don't want to let him go altogether, so I do want to have a pint each way, although this looks like a real, um, on a kind of a race where there's a couple of cagey ones that haven't played their hands yet, I'm fully sure at some stage, Puntastic, trained by Paul Nolan, will step up. Um, he is by Dark Angel, but he seems to, you know, I think Dark Angels have in their career handled cutting the ground. And I just thought at some stage he's going to come and run a race in one of these handicaps. So look, although it's a tough enough looking race with the McManus horse on exposed and a couple of others I feel he could step up and I don't want to let him off at 16 to 1 because I do think at this odds it's worth a chance do I think he can win this race every time we tip him up absolutely not do I think it's a profitable bet at 16 to 1 if we met it 10 times yes I do so yeah we can't let him off at this odds because he could have a little bit more up his sleeve hopefully and then half dozen in the 225 at Hurryford I'm just going to go a pint win I don't see any value in the each way of play here for the simple reason he's into a handicap he's trained by Paul Nichols and he either is or isn't going to step up and if he steps up surely uh, off this kind of mark uh, he won't have anything in front of him like he's had in uh, Chepstow he had a real good horse in front of him the last day and I thought this fella was tracking in behind him nicely to the third last and then he got in under the second last kind of caught it with his back legs a little bit landed a little bit awkward similar enough at the last but maybe a little tired uh, tongue tie goes on very interesting I'd like to see them just let him maybe bowl away there's not a whole lot of pace in this race there is the, the Keelan Woods ridden horse can go forward uh, he won but apart from him I think there's just the two of them so I'd like to see half dozen up on the front end jumping in his hands because he travels very strongly um, I don't see the point in maybe holding him up where a race where there's only kind of one guaranteed uh, pace angle and he can then control it to suit him so half dozen could step up on all he's done and I'd say connections will be disappointed Paul Nichols has a really good record in the likes of Hurryford Place if he brings horses here lads they have a chance um, and this for me is a good drop in class for half dozen a pint win don't go crazy I have a real nice bet tomorrow last day of the month let's finish on a high also my anti-post bets for Cheltenham tipped up we have all been caught at 40 to 1 uh, yeah tipped it up each way for the Albert Bartlett as big as 10 to 1 now in places the form got an absolute frank I told everybody who'd listen on my video when I left uh, when I recapped that Cheltenham meeting I was at in November that we've all been caught was the horse to take out of the race he beat the horse over half a mile too short from that then went on and won the grade 2 novice hurdle at Cheltenham the other day and it was 33 lengths back to the third horse today we've all been caught has beaten him so we're into 10 to 1 now on that anti-post bet so yeah we could even end this this month with all the pending bets we could end January in a big profit yet we might have to wait to March to finish off the results but anyway we're on a 40 to 1 shot at 10 to 1 and and uh, yeah, we have some other nice bets running there as well that are shorter. So yeah, we have a max bet, seven points win, the real whacker at eight to one. He's best price now, six to one. I expect him to be a lot shorter for that race as well. So yeah, as as in and out as it's been, I hope you all gone on. We've all been caught. I've been singing his praises on all the Facebook lives for a long time now. And uh, yeah, I'm all over him at 40 to one. All right, bet safe, bet safe and uh, keep following. Cold Bear Sports, your number one.